All right, so for a show dog, there are some basic commands that are gonna help you in the ring on many parts of that ring. And I would introduce these commands and start to make these commands solid uh, with daily activities. Like for instance, when I'm feeding my dog, I'll start off with a bowl of food right here and I'll tell the dog, stay. You can even take it a step further, mix your hands in there to get your scent on it. Mm -hmm. You can stand over that bowl and that bowl is my food, mm -hmm. but I'm gonna allow this dog to eat that food. So I will put the bowl of food, maybe a foot, two feet away and say, stay. And in the beginning, they're gonna wanna get to that food. So mm -hmm. it's gonna be a short little session there. It may be 30 seconds and then you let them get that food. And then you're the next time or the next week or in a couple of weeks or whatever, um, you're doing this every day because they have to eat every day. Mm -hmm. So it makes it a great training session. So the next time when I feel the dog is ready, instead of two feet away, I'm gonna go four feet away. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna say, stay. And that dog is gonna stay, hopefully. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but if that dog stays at four feet away, then I'm gonna move that bowl six feet away or eight feet away or 10 feet away and I'll say stay. And then not only am I going to lengthen the time or the distance, but I'm gonna lengthen the time. It may be 30 seconds one time. And then as I e extend that distance, now it's gonna be one minute, mm -hmm. then it'll be two minutes, then it'll be three minutes, then it'll be four minutes. I wanna get it to the point where I can put that food down and tell that dog to stay and I can walk around my building, I can walk around the house. Good, stay, stay. So when you're having that stay command there, then they become a little statue. I'm looking past him, I'm not looking in his eyes, stay. And, and when I say, which is the next thing, you have to teach the dog a release command. Mm -hmm. Now, most people use the word okay. Which is what I do. Which, and, but well, yes. everybody in the world uses that. Yeah. So I, my release command for my dog is all right. Mm. So I tell my dog to stay. The, my dog's waited for two minutes, rock solid. And I say, all right. And that dog hits that food mm -hmm. and they get it. Mm -hmm. um, I'm four minutes out. I'm walking all around. Um, on the other side of the building, I'll say, all right, and I'll hear that dog hit that food. Mm -hmm. If you create great stays, there's so many benefits from that because let's say your dog is, is getting ready to go after another dog. Mm -hmm. Stay, and that dog's gonna stop and it's gonna stay there. If that dog is getting ready to run across the street, stay, mm -hmm. that dog's gonna stay there until you release it. That means you can walk over, put a leak collar on it, a leash on it, mm. and then safely walk it back to whatever. Mm. In the show ring, it's really gonna be a benefit because in the show ring, what's gonna happen is that when I want the judge to see this dog and I want it to turn into a statue, I'm gonna say, stay. So I'm gonna create perfect foot placement. And when those feet are right where they need to, I'm gonna say, stay. Now my dog's not gonna move because of all of what I've done mm -hmm. until I release it. So it's gonna stand there perfectly. All right, good job. And so I'm going to introduce the next command. So the next command that I'm gonna have is going to be watch it. And so what I'll do for that is I'm gonna get either like a trash can or I can get a tripod or I can get some kind of device where I can set this in front of my dog Here's cheese, I can squirt cheese on there like that. Mm -hmm. And I will tell the dog, watch it. So it's in the stay, okay. watch it. Okay. And as I start to see really good intensity right there, mm -hmm. then I'll mark that, yes, good, like for good job. Right. All right, because it already knows the release command. All right, because I've taught it that. And it comes over and gets to lick the cheese. Watch it. Watch it. All right. Good job. There's cheese on that cone. Okay. Throw the treat off to the side. Watch it.
Okay. Another good thing to use is peanut butter. Peanut butter, okay. And it comes in this little squeezy thing yeah, right I here. I've seen that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they have them, you know, oh. most grocery stores will have yeah. that, or okay. you can ask them to bring it in. Or all the the one where it has everything is Amazon.com. Uh, yeah, <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> so cheese are these, these are two good sticky things oh, that okay. stick on something. Yeah. So I'm still doing my stay, but now I'm introducing watch it. Okay. So it, he does watch it, but I usually do it on the ground. But that's a good way because I don't, you don't always want him to look right. down like that, right? Exactly. So, okay. So that could train him to look more parallel. Right. <laughs> okay. So this right here teaches him to watch it. Mm -hmm. All right. He already knows the release command, so he gets the cheese. He's all excited about that. Okay. Now some benefits to teaching that command is that let's say I'm gating my dog. Mm -hmm. and all of a sudden something distracts my dog. Mm -hmm. ah! So I let it know that's unacceptable, mm -hmm. then I say watch it. So okay. while I'm gating, I'll say watch it, and the dog will look straight Just ahead, thinking that there's gonna be cheese at the end of this. Okay, it teaches them to go straight, hopefully. Straight forward like that. Yeah. And then if I have to make a turn, I'll shake my hand, give the signal to turn, and he'll forget all about that. Mm, okay. So that could be a tool that I could use for distraction while gating. Mm -hmm. okay. The other thing too, I'm coming back to a judge, mm -hmm. and I want this dog to have a beautiful stack right in front of this judge. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna tell my dog, watch it. And when my dog starts to walk up towards the judge, I can back up out of the way like this, and now my dog is standing in front of that judge looking okay and with that intensity right now obviously the dog's going to expect a treat after yeah, that yeah. so i'm going to come over here and say all right and i'll give the dog a treat okay so that they that help them. also helps out when the judge says no bait in the ring mm -hmm. because you can say watch it and when the judge isn't watching then you can sneak that treat in okay. over there let's say that the judging is is almost complete and the judge has all these dogs lined up around the ring and they're trying to make the decision on which dog they want. Mm -hmm. So now I can do what I call a position three, where I free stack my dog and have them three quarters into the ring like this, stay. So stay means that dog's gonna turn into a statue. Mm -hmm. And then I'll go watch it. I don't even have to throw anything. Mm -hmm. I'll just go like this and say, watch it. That dog's gonna be looking into that ring and when this judge comes around, they're gonna see this perfectly stacked dog turned into a statue right there. Okay. So stay, a release command, and watch it are three basic skills that you can use on so many different parts of this ring. Right. right. Stay, stay, watch it, watch it. All right, all right, good job.